everyone. Welcome to Christmas in July 2019, hosted by Dawn H. Creates, and her link is down below, plus all the rest of us that are collaborating and coming up with all these ideas. And this is week three, and the week is Pink Christmas. So I was a little challenged on this because I had nothing that was pink and Christmas. So I did find some uh, digital downloads and I will put her link down below and um, created this little card here. It has a pink rose and opens up as this cute little photograph and uh, it's a little lace on the side, a little place over here to do journaling. There is a pocket here for you to put you know something inside there and there's also a pocket here for a journaling card that I have in here so um, this is a flip card journal journaling card that I will be putting into my Christmas journals and then on the back is open as well for whoever wants to put um, photograph or you know writing or whatever so I did photograph this uh, excuse me I videotaped this prior and I will attach it now and you can watch how this went together. I began with an envelope, a, a tea dyed envelope. Um, I think it's an A6, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and um, I started with that and then I also got this off of uh, Pinterest and it is a, uh, you know, an old greeting card that had a pink rose on it and I thought, well, this is definitely Part of a pink Christmas and so that's going to be sort of on my front part of the flip that is going to happen with the flip card and then for the backing I just um, took another piece of car cardstock that was the same size as that particular little card there so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue whoops this envelope onto the card on the flap here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna glue this on the flap because this is gonna be part of the flip. So let me think here, how am I gonna flip it? I'm going to flip it like this. Okay, there we go. So we'll just put this here on the flap, like so. So I cut the card so it was the size of my uh, envelope, so it fit, fit on there well. There we go. So there's the, the part of the flip there. Okay. Now, uh, on the inside here, I of course need to put down this part here the flap and this is going to be the journaling area and I have a stencil here to kind of give oh some little lines on here that I'm going to stencil on here and I found this wonderful tip and I got it from Gail Ag uh, Gail Agostinelli and she got it from someone else and I don't know who but it is a makeup brush is what it is it's a basic makeup brush i got it at an outlet store down here you know a couple three bucks it is soft it's a soft brush it's not bristle it's, it's very soft and it's fantastic for getting into these smaller nooks and crannies because when i used like you know the regular one i do it's a bit of a challenge actually to get it covered well and so with this one um you can just brush across here and work the brush in a little bit in those little corners like so and it just seemed to be a lot easier for me to do fine uh, detail things you know not so much maybe with large areas you know the other applicator worked fine but for these areas here, I just, I sort of liked that, um, 
the way it went on. It went on so so easily and didn't have to worry about it. I also used it for this one here on another project. And you see how fine and little dashed that is. And it, it came out really great, um, even though it was it was really fine. So I've done that. And then I'm going to put on a little, just a little Santa here in the corner. Kind of give it a little interest on here. So we'll glue him on really fast. Hopefully. Okay, here we go. There we go. And I hope everyone is working on their Christmas projects. Yep, now's the time to start them if you're a crafter. <laughs> okay, then we can attach this to uh, the backing of the card. Now, to put a pocket in here, we don't want to attach the whole thing. So we're just going to um, glue along the side. And I see I have a little bit of a tear. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. A little bit of a tear there. Well, that can easily be fixed with some washi tape. I will first of all get this glued on and glue it on this way here and over this way. There we go. And now we have a pocket on that side. There we are. Okay. Well, I guess I covered up that little tear. I guess that worked out just fine. Well, maybe not. There we go. All right. So there's that part of it done. And then I have a backing for over here on this side. And I see I forgot to stress it. I better do it here very quickly. I meant to do all this ahead of time because it's kind of boring to watch people do this, right? All right, now I'll just take the glue and put it on here. Now, oh, yeah, I don't want to glue into this area. Uh, so really what I really should be doing is gluing this here. Yeah, I'm kind of making this on the fly, not going to lie. <laughs> there we go and I might come up a little bit over here because I want to be able to put a pocket uh, on this side as well okay and put this down here like so Sure, it's nice. Flattened out and glued on. There we go. So that is part of it's raining here today in Florida and it is so humid that the paper is wet. If if you can it's damp. It's just so it's so interesting to try to work with. It's kind of weird. So that's done. And then I got this cute little printout and I got the whole sheet from uh, Luna Girl and it was a pink Christmas printout because I had nothing that had pink Christmas on it so I had to get something um, but they're really they're really cute so I got this little cute printout of this little girl and her little pink roses it's so sweet thought it kind of went with the era of, of what that card is from so I'm going to put that on here and then, after that, I'm going to be attaching the lace. This really pretty uh, vintage lake that lace that I actually just picked up at an antique store down here a few days ago. It's just so beautiful. All right, let's put, put her in here. A little off to the side. There we go. Right. 
she's down there nice and then this is the lace here that i got isn't it just so sweet it's very uh very detailed i don't know if the camera was picking it up or not for you i don't know anyways i'm going to put it down here and actually i'm going to step away and i'm going to sew it down okay i have sewed it on and it looks really cute just enough to kind of brighten and pick up her dress a little bit there in the corner i also put down some washi tape at the the seam or the bending part here to to reinforce it and strengthen it and inside here is a um, it's a journaling card that uh, a person can journal on or put a photo on it whichever and then when this closes I had it so the lace then kind of comes off off the edge a little bit just just hangs out a little bit to kind of give it a little bit more a little bit more zest so that is the pink Christmas project for me um, this little flip flip card uh, to put into a journal and pretty soon I am going to be working on my Christmas junk journals so this is that we'll find a place in one of those so thank you so much for viewing. Um, I hope that you check out everyone down below and get some more ideas to fuel your Christmas spirit. And uh, if you want to, I'm still working on my ocean journals. Uh, for those that have been following, they are slowly coming together. Uh, and if you want to see me do my Christmas journals, then please subscribe below and uh, you can keep track of that. So thank you so much for viewing and we'll talk to you later. Bye.